1978, Yugoslavian jazz rock band Lee by Soul released their first two albums back to back. And from the second of those, simply titled Two, the track Mariha. Okay, some misty cymbal and some diamondy electric piano, Fender. Played by Koki Demusevsky. And the track is written by guitarist Vlatko Stefanovsky. And that cymbal mist is by drummer Garo Tavitijan. Tavit and he also was credited with vibraphone on the album. Okay, and that sounds kind of like a fretless bass right there, giving us some sort of like Brand X-y type, type, type of feel right there by Bodin Arsovsky. <laughs> Okay, I take it back on that fretless comment. What I think I did hear there was some like harmonic notes that may have. Yeah, that. Yeah, that right there kind of. Sliding notes with those heart harmonic plucking on the bass. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, basically we got the uh, bass and drum figure that I've pointed out. Then we've got that like guitar melody kind of poking through the uh, kind of diamondy keyboards. So more just kind of like a glowy tone at this point. A minor. That diamond tone again. Or I should say sparkling. Wow, okay, now we got that kind of uh, almost like vibe-like uh, tone on the Fender playing really fast. I'm also hearing... I'm hearing like some controlled type of like like palm matted like fast playing on the guitar coming out of this channel. Okay, now we got that really uh, like thick kind of, uh, but but kind of muted riffage that's coming in. It's coming in at the center amid that really uh, like arpeggiated uh, fender. So far, I really like the uh, contrast that the, uh, that, keyboardist uh, Koki Demusevsky is giving us like uh, alternating between those like sparkling glissandos and those like arpeggiated uh, fender uh, fills uh, that 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 and that part kind of reminded me of um, Epicure by Sky Whale <laughs> Okay, with this bass is giving us an ostinato while the, while the guitar is just kind of like searing right over it. Mm -hmm. 
I like that thick tone. Kind of bendy notes, like holding the holding each for like a bar. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Well, this guitarist really has quite quite a lot of uh, like tonal control and just uh, and he's he's a very confident player too because he'll he, he was just he was being really restrained throughout a lot of the piece just playing you know kind of these sustained notes bending the strings a little bit and really like laid back and now suddenly just gets a little bit faster and you can tell that he's it's becoming quite apparent that he's much more of a virtuoso than he's letting on through most of this piece because he he I, he doesn't really have anything to prove. Okay, I appreciate this. Now we've got four instrumentalists that are all just playing completely to the hilt. In, in terms of their virtuosity. We've got that really rapid fire bass ostinato kind of low in the mix. We've got the drumming that's just all active and, and and just putting as many beats in as possible. We've got the, you know, fills of that, the, the keyboards and um, the guitar is now front, front and center in all this. <laughs> guitars from this period that that can be so like rapid fire and yet sound so refined at the same time and I've heard a lot of them but this is like it's like he, he's not like hitting you over the head with his virtuosity it just sort of like is oozing out The way those rapid fire runs kind of follow these these just moments where he just makes it ooze and cry and soar and I'm trying to think who's it remind me of. It, I guess style wise, maybe I'm kind of thinking of. Um, not the sound, but the style. Uh, the guitar's an iceberg, um, without without all the the fuzz, of course. But it, but the the tone is really original. <laughs> that's different but but the piano of course is sticking out that's a new element to this track this thing is basically just a half step like like a minor we a moment ago we were up in in b flat just between those two cowbell in the background. I 
just love these pieces where you get where each uh, instrumentalist t takes a solo, and then in a couple of cases, the same instrumentalist will take two very different kinds of solos, like maybe on two different kinds of keyboards or something. <laughs> Staccato set of runs than before. Hear the bass is doubling up on him now. Oh, that, that when they plunge into F like that and. Ah, uh, yeah, that was uh, Mariha by Lebai Sol from the Yugoslavian jazz rock band's 1978 second album, Two. And, yeah, showing a lot of range on that track, really. Um, for uh, the, the underlying composition w was kind of simple, but, like, chordal-wise, but uh, the way they built on it and developed it and just the energy they put into it, through the soloing, through the... Um, range of instrumentation employed and, and each kind of taking its turn and really uh, given the time to stretch out and uh, the the purity of tone and the separation the tonal clarity between instruments yeah uh, the only thing we didn't get to hear I guess was um, drummer Garo Garo's uh, vibraphone but uh, other places for that we 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 covered a lot of ground even without it yeah yeah, uh, Lee by Soul, a prolific band, put out a uh, whole bunch of albums on the PGP RTB label, uh, six of them between 1978 and 1982, and, and then a few more albums on uh, Juggaton in the mid to late 80s. Yeah, and uh, just kept on going. I think, uh, I think ultimately maybe went through a style change. I, I don't know if they remained... Um, I think after, I, I don't know if, if they remained a jazz rock band throughout their career, like, um, I think, I, yeah, anyway, yeah, I've, I've, I've worked, um, up through the early 80s, let's just say, anyway, um, anyway, for more Rubies and Sapphires from the Lee by Soul, uh, the, the first few albums, anyway, the first five or so, see the directory of albums by <coughs> Eastern I'll just say Yugoslavian artists and artists from the former Eastern Bloc. Yes. Uh, or what was one time uh, Yugoslavia, anyway. Um, and since, since the uh, directory primarily concerns um, the, uh, the 1970 to 1986 era, uh, yeah, it's, it's okay to call it Yugoslavia, even if it's like, a, yeah, uh, anyway. Croatia and, and Serbia now. Yeah. Like and subscribe, follow me on social media, share the video, and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the track we just heard, the uh, interplay, the layers, the harmonics of it all, the dynamics, you know, who had the best solo, the best passage, the best runs. And until next time, this is Eric on the world's most ear-traveled tramaximalist, saying enough. <laughs>